Hoo! Welcome back, everybody, to Inebriation Nation's Shit's Minecraft. It's TJ here with you as always. When we left off, we were underground, gathering together supplies. We had just found some diamond, and I might have told you that the game was over, but that was a lie. The game is not over. How dare you be so dumb enough to believe that? Uh, we were talking about some crazy lady who thought it was okay to uh, have sex with one's niece as long as contraceptives were used, uh, but we all know that that's not okay, children. If you didn't know, um, you might need some type of education. Um, anyway, so I went ahead and did a little playing without uh, without recording. Um, I didn't want to keep you guys all day, so I do have quite a bit of, of things from that I mine. I do have some uh, some stone, not a lot. We're gonna go down and get some more here in a little bit, but um, I came up um, <clears throat> and uh, did a little work up here. I was getting tired of creepers and whatnot coming up, and uh, I had an issue with the uh, chicken coop because creepers and zombies were spawning in the middle of our um, our little pens here and they don't hurt the animals but it pissed me off so I went in there to fuck with them to kill them and they blew up and killed all my chickens and uh, I had to rebuild all this area and that's why all my chickens are dead so anyway so I've gone around and I've just been putting torches everywhere all over to keep creepers and things of that nature from uh, spawning too close to the house um, Oh shit, that was crazy. Um, what we might do eventually, and I've seen some other people do it um, on some of their walkthroughs, is literally build um, a wall, a straight wall around our home. Um, but that's going to be a lot of work. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that, and I'm certainly not going to be involving you guys in all of that. Probably some of it, but not a lot of it, because that's going to take me many, many hours and lots and lots of mining. Um, so here's what we were doing. I was cutting down our forest over here because we are going to cut all this down, level this out, and we are going to build an orchard out here because I want probably a 16 by 16 area of trees uh, that I can go and grow and uh, <clears throat> cut down and recycle for all the wood that I need. Um, and we're going to do that. Um, I'm also going to build some more um, farm area. Um, for us so we can have more uh, more wheat for our animals which eventually I'm going to have to expand all this as well and especially with the sheep because I have a project I want to work with involving wool and different colored wools that's going to be a memorial to Dayglow um, and I'm going to build that out here on the water so that you can see it in the distance. That's something we're going to work on that's going to be many episodes in the future um, right now what I've got you here for is something exciting that I found I was out here cutting down some trees. I found a hole in the ground and decided to go exploring it. Um, I found a lot of resources down there, but I found something super amazing, something that we're really going to need, um, <clears throat> something that we can do something with. So I went ahead and dug a hole out, built a little encampment around it with a door on it, and let's go down. I'm going to show you what's going on down here. And uh, I've, uh, you know what? Hold on. We've got to grab a couple things because we're going to build a little something with it while we're down here. Um, uh, we're going to need multiple things while we're here. And let's see. We're going to need some glass for sure. Let's get rid of this. Ugh, we're going to go drop some of this shit off. We're getting this, this. I um, don't need the wood per se right now. So we got this wood. Uh, we found some chests while we were down there. It was really good. Um, some saddles. We're going to get rid of that junk here in a little bit. Um, we're going to go fill these with water. And uh, we're gonna need. We're gonna take some cobblestone. But I don't think we're gonna need that necessarily. Um, let's take this because I don't know. We might use that too. Um, don't need the saddle here either. Diddly or this. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything we need. As long as we have some food, which we don't have. We just got some apples. That's good enough. We'll go for now, like this. Um, some more glass. <laughs> I'm really excited about this, guys. I am excited. And uh, I know you guys don't know what it is yet, but it's going to be something that we can really use in the future. Um, and it's something that I don't normally find until you've really explored quite a bit 
and I feel real lucky to have, have found it so quickly. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I've got some moss stone that I built this with, and for some of you that have played this game before, you know what that is. Um, <clears throat> you know what that means. You know what that means, kids. All right, look what I found, guys. I found a zombie spawner right by the house, too. I'm super excited about that. So uh, for those of y'all who don't know what that means, is when I take these torches off of here um, and I put it on easy or hard or whatever, it will spawn zombies, and it'll spawn lots of them. And what I can do in this room is I can uh, create some sort of trap to filter the zombies uh, into a position where they can't hurt me, but I can hurt them. And I can harvest their experience points, and I can also harvest uh, you know, any rotted meat or anything that they may drop. So it's a really great find um, because now I have the ability to harvest zombies. And uh, it's, it's just not something you find all the time. Uh, they're not really easy to find. And not only did I find that, like, I, I went down into this little hole and I found this moss stone. And I know that when there's moss stone about, that means there's a spawner of some kind, whether it's a skeleton spawner or a, a spider spawner or a, a zombie spawner. And uh, well, I got super excited, man. And uh, so real quick, we're going to spend a little bit of time hauling out this room. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to see if we can't build us a little zombie spawner real quick. Or build us a little trap. A little... Uh, XP farm and uh, I'm thinking this room is big enough one two three four five six seven it's not quite big enough one two three four five six seven it's seven by seven but let's see what's on the other side of these walls because as long as there's not well let's go ahead and fuck it we'll we'll, we'll haul these walls out one more because they they spawn eight by eight um, in an eight by eight area and if there's like a wall, they'll spawn through on the other side of the wall. They can do that. But as long as there's, you know, a block there, they can't spawn there. So what we want to do is just ensure that the zombies aren't spawning outside of our area. We want to make sure they're spawning only where we want them to spawn. And uh, this is going to be great because then we can have tons of experience. And uh, and uh, for those of y'all who don't know, that we can use the experience to um, to enchant our weapons. And uh, enchanted weapons just work better. They work longer. They have different perks. Um, we do have to build an enchantment table, but uh, that will not be hard. Uh, I just gotta go out and find some some diamond. And uh, once I do that, oh yeah, by the way, I did. We did find that diamond earlier, and I built us a diamond pickaxe. I built, also built us a diamond shovel because um, those are the two that I use the most. Next will be a diamond sword, and then a diamond axe. And uh, after that, we'll build some diamond uh, diamond uh, armor. And then Skrillex will be straight decked out, homie. Straight dizzect. Okay. <clears throat> now, here's what's going to happen. What we got here is, um, kind of want, I know this goes here, but this is not where we're going to put them. Because what we're going to do is put water right here. Shit, we didn't fill the water up. That's okay. We'll go get some more. What we're going to do is we'll put this down here. Yeah. Uh, I always forget how to do it, but we'll we'll figure it out in just a second. What we might need to do is um, put the stone down like so. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know what. Would... Hmm. I kind of have to just put the water down to see how it acts. Water bucket. Bam. We'll just see what the water does. I know, I know we need to put one more right here, though. So I'm going to put the water from right here. Okay, it'll come out. Okay, no. Alright, well, that's good fish. Okay, yeah, okay. Alright, alright. Okay, that's good. So we need to get this out of the way. Let's pick this back up. Boop. Okay. That's good. Get rid of these guys. Okay. Let's see what it does now. I don't know if that's going to... Okay, so we need to get rid of all of this. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As like, so you can see, what's going to happen is these zombies are going to spawn. They're going to hit the water, and the water is going to force them, to, to funnel them towards the edge of the this room here. And, uh... Let's see, hold on, we need to... So we're going to have to, from this point here, 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 
Uh oh, now we get to use our diamond pickaxe. Pretty excited. Here, here, and here. And we're going to get that water to continue through, okay? All right, well, i got to pause it, guys. Have a fantastic match today full of wonder and bewilderment. Don't you forget to thank God every day for yoga pants. All right, peace out.